No lollygagging. Let me guess. Someone stole your sweet. Trouble?
Take care what goes down. Tell me again why we're wasting time and dwindling resources chasing a legend. We don't even know it exists. The Yorp. You're alive. I owe Ulfric a drink. I misjudged you. It's time we made this official. You ready to take the oath? Before your what? Don't take. Damn the Yorps. Mm. Change your mind. You ready to pledge? That's. I do swear. Jarl of Vindhel. As Talos is my. Even to my lord. All hail. Which means. Oh. And here. You're a Stormcloak now. You ought to look the part. We're headed to Corvin. Your fellow Stormcloaks are already assembling outside the tomb. I'll meet you there, as soon as I'm finished up here. They demand the moot. And damn the moot! We should risk letting those milk drinkers put Torek's woman on the throne? She'll hand Skyrim over to the elves on a silver plate. All the more reason, then. The crown would legitimize your claim. What is it? Everything's all right. The roads of sky. How can I assist? Hmm? May your bed be warm and your food sweet. I'm on my way to Solitude to join the Legion. A united empire is better for everyone.
Don't interfere with Imperial Legion business. Now move along, unless you want three inches of steel in your gut. Don't interfere with Imperial Legion business. Now move along, unless you want three inches of steel in your gut. Hail, Ilfil. <laughs> ha! I knew you'd join up. Great news. We'll take back Skyrim together, eh? I'm glad I'll have you beside me in there. This place chills my blood, and I don't care who knows it. These old ruins. My father always told me to stay away from them. Good advice, I'd say. But never mind all that. We've got a job to do, and nothing's going to stand in our way. Hail, Galmar. What's the situation? Cold as the inside of an ice wraith. That and some Imperials are camped out around the entrance, staying nice and warm around their fires. Imperials? Well, if they're keeping themselves comfortable, let's slip in and send them to their graves that way. <laughs> <laughs> What's the Legion doing here? Damn Imperial spies! Well, should be fun for us at least. They don't seem to know we're here yet. Ready to spill some Imperial blood for Skyrim? That's what I like to hear. Listen up. Those Imperials aren't here by coincidence. Their spies must have found out we know about the Crown, and they don't want us to have it. But they won't stand in our way. I know some of you are ex-Legion, and may know men on the other side. But remember this. They are the enemy now, and they will not hesitate to kill you. Keep your wits about you, and watch your shield brothers back. Ulfric Stormcloak is counting on us to bring him back that crown. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Follow me, quickly and quietly now. I want their guts on the ground before they even know we're here! There you are! That's it! That's all you That's the way I like it. Short and bloody. They never knew what hit them. But do not make the mistake of underestimating the Legion. Plenty of them are Nords, same as us. We had the advantage of surprise this time, but things won't be so easy from here on out. Enough talk. Let's go kill some Imperials. I can't remember the last time I visited at home. I think I've forgotten what a proper bed looks like.
pick a man and put him down. We attack on my signal. Time to show what you're really. are with me. Someone do something. I knew I heard something. I don't like the look of this. Perfect spot for an ambush. Ten to one, they're just waiting for us on the other side. But there isn't any other way through. Oh, you sure about that? Then please, be my guest and go strolling on in there. We'll stay here and watch your back. Not so sure. Oh, then perhaps we should take a moment to look around a little, eh? You there, unblooded. See if you can find... Maybe you can find a way through somewhere above us. What in the nine holds is that? No, and I'm not sure I'm better off for it now, neither. Steady. A few dusty bone walkers aren't going to stop us any more than the Imperials could. We are not leaving until we get what we came for. Now let's keep moving.
Where'd you come from? Hall of Stories. We must be getting close now. Oh, I've heard of this. They say these walls show the history of the ancients who built this place. Too bad we can't read these carvings. Who knows what secrets we'd uncover. One thing at a time. We are here for the crown. Any of these come Think so a crown? Looks like this is as far as the Imperials got. Hmm. That looks like some kind of... Look out! Yeah. I wouldn't do that again, unless you know for sure it's going to open. Like the door will open if we turn these rings the right way. Careful. No telling what will happen the next time you mess with that door. Is there anything on the claw that might show how to open this door?
The Imperials are here in force. Stick together. Maybe that claw has a clue on it. You know, how to turn the ring so the door will open. See what we've got. Unblooded, do what you do best. See if you can find some way to get that gate open. Keep looking, Unblooded. There's got to be some way to get that thing open. Unblooded. There's got to be some way to get that thing open. this way.
Brown must be around here somewhere. Spread out and keep your eyes open. the crown over here. the one we're looking for. If you don't mind, King, we'll just be taking that crown of yours and be on our way. Quick as you can. Tell Ulfric he owes me a drink. We'll stick around here for a while and see if we can find anything else useful.
Dalius has camps in the Pale, entertaining thoughts of battle. The Empire still underestimates the force of our cause. It will be their undoing. Damn him. That old bear was right. Did you run into any trouble? That's the spirit. I'll get all the details from Garmar when he gets back. Now then. I'm glad you're here. I have a message I need delivered to the Jarl of Whiterun. Deliver this axe to Balgroth the Greater. Men who understand each other often have no need for words. There are but a few simple truths behind one warrior giving another his axe. Balgroof will know my meaning. Keep your wits about you. The Jarl of Whiterun is known for his temper.
Holt. City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. Riverwood's in danger too. You better go on in. You'll find the Jarl in Dragon's Reach, at the top of the hill. We'll pay whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. What's My the Lord, meaning of this please. interruption? This is no Jarl Balgruf is not action. receiving visitors. I just think we need more information before we act. I just... Well, Who's that explains then? why the guards let you in. Come on then, the Jarl will want to speak to you personally. So, you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? Should have guessed Ulfric would be mixed up in this. What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If the that dragon is lurking in the mountains, view that as a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not. I'll not stand idly by while a dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people! Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my Jarl. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done Whiterun a service, and I won't forget it. Here. Take this as a small token of my esteem. There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps? Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons.
Faringar, I think I've found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Go ahead and fill her in with all the details. So the Earl thinks you can be of use to me. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. Straight to the point, eh? No need for tedious hows and whys. I like that. Leave those details to your betters, am I right? I, uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone, said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. A prospective student, are you? Well, I'm afraid I'm not much good at teaching. You should try your luck at the College of Winterhold. Ah, student of the craft. You'll need to start by learning an enchantment. Take an enchanted weapon or piece of armor, then use the arcane enchanter to learn its secrets. The item is destroyed in the process, so be wary. Once you know an enchantment, you'll need a filled soul gem and something to enchant. You'll use the arcane enchanter for that, too. Of course, I have everything you need for sale if you have the coin. Hmm. I had you figured for a mage. I think you'll appreciate this. Spells and incantations for those with the talent to cast them.
Hmm. I had you figured for a mage. I think you'll appreciate this. This is a priority now. Anything we can use to fight this dragon, or dragons, we need it quickly, before it's too late. Of course, Yao Balgroof. You seem to have. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Did he now? Huh. The man is persistent. I'll give him that. But until that dragon's dealt with, Ulfric's just going to have to wait. For now, I'll hold on to this axe. But it's a tenuous piece at best. Now, I believe you have some business to conclude with my court wizard. I'm sure she will prove most useful. Succeed at this, and you'll be rewarded. White Run will be in your debt.
Once was a woman as fair as an eagle, a springtime in old Stross Mackay. Here, look at us, we got ourselves a hero! Close enough. Wizards. Now that's power. Bet they got that secret magic. Can turn wood to gold. Yeah, wish I could turn wood to gold. If I Ismir, you won't leave here alive!
someone coming. Is that you, Hot Near? Yawn. Salim. I know I ran ahead with the fog, but I need help. Out of here. It's coming loose. I can feel it. You fool. I should have never should have come here.
Take care with those flames. You see? The terminology is clearly First Era or even earlier. I'm convinced this is a copy of a much older text. Perhaps dating to just after the Dragon War. If so, I could use this to cross-reference the names with other later texts. Good. I'm glad you're making progress. My employers are anxious to have some tangible answers. Oh, have no fear. The Jarl himself has finally taken an interest, so I'm now able to devote most of my time to this research. Time is running, Farngar, don't forget. This isn't some theoretical question. Dragons have come back. Yes, yes, don't worry. Although the chance to see a living dragon up close would be tremendously valuable. Now, let visitor. me show you something else I found. Very intriguing. I think your employers may be interested as well. Hmm? Ah, yes, the Jarl's protege. Back from Bleak Falls Barrow. <laughs> you didn't die, it seems. Ah, the Dragon Stone of Bleak Falls Barrow. Seems you are a cut above the usual brutes the Jarl sends my way. That is where your job ends and mine begins. The work of the mind, sadly undervalued in Skyrim. My associate here will be pleased to see your handiwork. She discovered its location by means she has so far declined to share with me. So your information was correct after all. And we have our friend here to thank for recovering it for us. You went into Bleak Wait, Falls me... Barrow and got that? Nice work. Just send me a copy when you've deciphered it. Farangar, you need to come at once. A dragon's been sighted nearby. You should come too. A dragon? How exciting. Where was it seen? W what was it doing? I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. If a dragon decides to attack Whiterun, I don't know if we can stop it. Let's go. So, Irileth tells me you came from the Western Watchtower? Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. No, oh, that's right. We saw it coming from the south. It was fast. Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the Watchtower? No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me, for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. You've earned it. Irleth, you'd better gather some guardsmen and get down there. I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Good. Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. I want you to go with Irleth and help her fight this dragon. You survived Helgen, so you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. But I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. And please, accept this gift from my personal armory. I should come along. I would very much like to see this dragon. No. I can't afford to risk both of you. I need you here working on ways to defend the city against these dragons. As you command. One last thing, Irileth. This isn't a death or glory mission. I need to know what we're dealing with. Don't worry, my lord. I'm the very soul of caution. I'll see you at the watchtower as soon as the rest of the men have gathered.
say Helgen got hit by a dragon. One of those horrors comes here. We'll be late. Damn those gray mains to oblivion. They want to back the storm cloaks. They'll get what's coming. Dragons, I can handle. This talk of dragons. We're going mad. It's all in us. In each of us. The future of Skyrim. The future of. The gods in Dragonreach say you've gated the yard. But we can't afford it. It took me weeks to find that thief's dead. I can't stop now. And I can't get the sword of my own. Here's the situation. A dragon is attacking the Western Watchtower. Now we're in for it. Go cast your fancy magic someplace right. else. I said a dragon. I don't much care where it came from or who sent it. What I do know is that it's made the mistake of attacking Whiterun. But Housecarl, how can we fight a dragon? That's a fair question. None of us have ever seen a dragon before or expected to face one in battle. But we are honor-bound to fight it, even if we fail. This dragon is threatening our homes, our families. Could you call yourselves Nords if you ran from this monster? Are you going to let me face this thing alone? No, We're no, so no, dead. But it's more than our honor at stake here. Think of it. The first dragon seen in Skyrim since the last age. The glory of killing it is ours, if you're with me. Now what do you say? Shall we go kill us a dragon? Yeah! Damn right! Yeah! Let's move out.
No signs of any dragon right now, but it sure looks like he's been here. I know it looks bad, but we've got to figure out what happened, and if that dragon is still skulking around somewhere. Spread out, and look for survivors. We need to know what we're feeling. Get back. It's still here somewhere. Rocky and Tor just got grabbed when they tried to make a run for it. Kid, let's save us. Here he comes again. I can't believe it. You're... Dragonborn. In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the Dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. There's only one way to find out. Try to shout. According to the old legends, only the Dragonborn can shout without training, the way the dragons do. Dragonborn? What are you talking about? That's right. My grandfather used to tell stories about the Dragonborn. Those born with the dragon blood in them. Like old Tiber Septim himself. I've never heard of Tiber Septim killing any dragons. There weren't any dragons then, idiot. They're just coming back now for the first time in... Forever. But the old tales tell of the Dragonborn who could kill dragons and steal their power. You must be one. What do you say, Irleth? You're being awfully quiet. Come on, Irleth. Tell us. Do you believe in this Dragonborn business? <laughs> Some of you would be better off keeping quiet than flapping your gums on matters you don't know anything about. Here's a dead dragon. 
And that's something I definitely understand. Now we know we can kill them. But I don't need some mythical dragonborn. Someone who can put down a dragon is more than enough for me. You wouldn't understand, Housecar. You ain't a Nord. I've been all across Tamriel. I've seen plenty of things just as outlandish as this. I'd advise you all to trust in the strength of your sword arm over tales and legends. If you really are Dragonborn, like out of the old tales, you ought to be able to shout. Can you? Have you tried? Have you tried to shout? Oh, that was shouting, what you just did. Dragonborn. Must be. You really are Dragonborn, then. We taught that dragon not to mess with Whiterun, didn't we? I'm glad you're on our side. I'm glad you're on our side. I can't believe we actually killed a dragon! That was the hairiest fight I've ever been in, and I've been in more than a few. I don't know about this dragonborn business, but I'm sure glad you're with us. You better get back to Whiterun right away. Jarl Bagra will want to know what happened here. I'm taking command here for the moment. You head back to Whiterun and let the Jarl know what happened.
We're causing no trouble. All we ask is to look for her. We will be back. This is not over. Izmir, you did it! You killed the dragon. Finally here. The Jarl's been waiting for you. You heard the summons. What else could it mean? The Greybeards. We were just talking about you. My brother needs a word with you. So what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? I knew I could count on Irileth. But there must be more to it than that. Dragonborn? What do you know about the Dragonborn? So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion, high on the slopes of the throat of the world. The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thum or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Rangar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as she may be, I don't see any signs of her being this, what, dragonborn. Nord nonsense? Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Rongar, don't be so hard on Avenici. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with her? That's the Greybeards' business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're Dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. I envy you, you know, to climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place. Very disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. <sighs> no matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal housecarl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. 
I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Back to business, Proventus. We still have a city to defend. Yes, my lord. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Ah, yes. I suppose it's time I gave him an answer. Proventus, what do you make of all this? If Ulfric were to attack Whiterun... As in all things, Lord, caution. I urge us to wait and see. Pray wait. I'm of a mind with Irileth. It's time to act. You plan to march on Windhelm? I'm not a fool, Proventus. I mean it's time to challenge Ulfric to face me as a man. Or march his storm cloaks up to the gates. He'll do no such thing. A dagger in the back is all you could expect. He was rather straightforward with <laughs> Torig. Torig? He simply walked up to the boy and murdered him! That boy was High King of Skyrim. I'm not the High King, but neither am I a boy. If Ulfric wants to challenge my rule in the old way, let him. Though I suspect he'll prefer to send his storm cloaks to do it for him. True. He's already proven his personal strength. Now he seeks to prove his armies. Then might I urge you to consider General Tullius' request? I mean, if you are bent on offending Jarl Ulfric. Ulfric is the one who has offended. But Proventus has a point. Ulfric has made it clear. In his mind, to refuse his claim is to side with the Empire. And what harm is there in letting a few legionnaires die in place of your own men? It seems cowardly. Was it cowardly, then, to accept the White Gold Concordat? This again? That was different. Was I given a chance to object to the terms of the treaty? No. The Jarls weren't asked. We were told. And we had to like it. The chests of gold didn't hurt. Damn it! This isn't about gold! It's time to decide. Lord, wait. Let us see if Ulfric is serious. Oh, he's serious. But so am I. Finally. So about this axe. You can return this axe to our friend. The esteemed Jarl of Windhelm has my answer. Make sure he gets it. Proventus, bring me my pen. And the good parchment. Are we writing a letter, Lord? Yes. To General Talius. I need to make a few things clear before I accept these legionnaires of his. The Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. Lead the way.
Dalius has camps in the Pale, entertaining thoughts of battle. The Empire still underestimates the force of our cause. It will be their undoing. Is Speak there any news from Hyra? Then I was wrong about him. Neighbors. You're right, Galmar. Again. Speak I'm in no Wolfric. mood. To He's go. expecting word from White Run. Give the word, my lord, and White Run is yours. White Run is only a means to an end. I've toured our camps. We're ready, Ulfric. Whenever you are. Is any man ever ready to give the order that will mean the deaths of many? No, but neither is every man able to give that order when he must. But you are that man, Ulfric. You've been that man before, and you'll be him again. And these men and women, they call themselves Stormcloaks because they believe in you. They are the meanest, toughest sons of bitches Skyrim has to offer. And they want this. They want this as much as you do. Perhaps they want it more. You're certain we're ready. Whiterun's army will no doubt be bolstered with legionnaires. And those walls around Whiterun are old. But they still stand. We are ready. And I might be old myself, but I'll kick those damn walls down with my bare feet, if you would only ask me to do it. Ha. <laughs> I'm sure you could do it, too. All right. This is it. Yes! Send the word. A new day is dawning, and the sun rises over Whiterun. Aye. And the sons of Skyrim will greet that dawn, teeth and swords flashing. So it begins. Make haste to our camp in Whiterun. I want you on the front lines. I have a feeling about you. Your place is on that battlefield. I need you there. Fight well or die well. Talos be with you. Dalius has camps in the Pale, entertaining thoughts of battle. The Empire still underestimates the force of our cause. It will be their undoing. Yorleaf, I want you to send a messenger to our western camps. And the message, sir? I'm diverting Gar and Hadring's men to join him. Is that wise, sir? It will work if we can pull Haran's men from the south and find a bit of luck. Of course. Something that seems to be in short supply these days. I'm not seeking advice right now, friend. Just send a message. 